Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today we'll talk about ranking functions in SQL Server. And ranking functions were introduced in SQL Server 2005 and above. So let's go to the ranking functions. So there are total four ranking functions that uh, were introduced in SQL Server 2005 and still there are four ranking functions in the latest version of SQL Server 2016 as well. So the first ranking function is row number. So row number is a function that returns a sequential number for a particular partition or a result set starting with one. A second function is rank. So this rank returns the rank of each row instead of the sequential row number. It gives you the rank and literally it means the rank of uh, each row in that partition or a result set. Dense rank. Dense rank is similar to rank but you will not see any gaps in the ranking sequence. So uh, it will start from one. Uh, like the row number and rank itself but you won't see any gaps in the ranking sequence the fourth one is entile so entile is not the ranking but it distributes the row groups into different different groups based upon the order or the you know, result set right so we'll uh, see all of them uh, one by one okay i'll take you to ssms and i'll create a table that is dbo.student with three columns class now I'll take two classes. Cla I'll name them class A and class B. Then marks and the name of students, right? So I'll create this table and I'll insert some dummy records here. So uh, for class A, uh, I have these number of students: one, two, three, four, five, six. And for class B, I have again six different students with their with their marks. Okay. So I'll insert these twelve records into the table. Okay, let's see these records. Okay, so I have class A these and class B this. Fine. So let's check the first ranking function that is the row number. Okay, so uh, as I said, row number gives you the sequence starting from one. If you just apply uh, row number with the other columns, uh, so row number over order by marks descending. Okay, so you will get like this. Okay, so in the whole record set of 12 records it just gave you a sequential ordering of all these records okay ordered by marks right in the descending order so you get to know who are your top rankers okay 90 then 80 then 70 60 and at and the last 50 right uh, rank uh, as i said you the rank gives you the exact rank the literally meaning of rank so you get okay you get to know okay three students got 90 marks so they were all ranked one okay after that three students got 80 marks so they were ranked four right you can see that there is a gap right two and three is missing here because two and three rank is con is uh, taken over by one one right because three students got three marks so the first rank goes to the three students but so there cannot be two and three so there is the fourth ranker for the 80 marks right similarly you could see here after four with these other two fours five and six is gone right similarly with these two sevens the eight is gone right so you can see the gaps here right a uh, two three five six here eight and this is missing okay so this is what you got with the rank with dense rank you won't get the gaps here so, so let's see what is what this gives so one 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 ninety then without any gap two 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 then three three four five 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 right so if i want to divide the whole group into three groups okay so how do I do that I use the entire function with three okay so it gives me this so it divides the all the 12 records 12 students into three groups right of four members each one two and three right so this is how entire works so if I club all of them into one you could see the difference right so the row number gives you the sequential ordering from 1 to 12 the rank gives you the exact rank having gaps okay tense rank gives you the rank without any gaps and the end tile you could create groups of students right so um, with these ranking functions right now you are working with the whole record set right but you have a specific clause that is partitioned by so within this over function as you are applying this order by clause you can also apply a partition by clause right now what i was doing was i was taking students from both the classes that is a and b 
if you see here we have students from both the classes A and B so what if I want to row number rank or dance rank on n tile by class wise right so I have these two partitions so what if I want to partition uh, them and then do the ranking right so I have the partition by clause so I have to do nothing I just have to mention partition by the column name on on which I want to do the partition right so partition by class nothing else everything remains same on all these functions right so let's see how this row number works with partition by clause right so see uh, for a class you get 1 to 6 and for B class you get 1 to 6 it was simple just row number over partition by class and order by marks in descending order right similar it will go with rank okay so it will rank only the A class at once and the B class separately okay tense rank similar goes like this partition by class okay you could see A and B right and similar with the end tile so if you club all of them right row number rank dense rank and end tile I have still uh, made three groups in partition by class you would get this right 1 to 6 1 to 6 then dense rank without any gaps and end tile so here I have a smaller partition so in three groups I just have two students previously I had a bigger partition I have 12 records so I had three groups of four students right right now my partition has shrinked I have two partitions a and B so it has done a grouping within the partitions right so I've got just two students in these three groups so this is all about ranking functions okay so uh, you can check more on ranking functions on my blog so, and this link is also given the detail section below you can check there thank you very much uh, please like the video if you really like it and please subscribe to watch my new videos as in when I put them and finally again thanks a lot